Welcome back. I am just back from the southern border in Texas, where we shot exclusive video and in-depth coverage of the crisis unfolding before our very eyes. 162,000 people were apprehended in the month of April. That doesn't even tell the whole story. In the last three months, there were 108,000 people who got away. Here's a look at some of the things we learned firsthand. We viewed the crisis from the land, the air, and the water. We took a boat ride with the Attorney General of Texas, Ken Paxton. We took a Black Hawk helicopter above Texas with the governor, Greg Abbott. We're rolling up right now. And we did ride-alongs in the car with the Border Patrol as well as the Border Patrol Union. I also spoke with several local sheriffs and a ranch owner who said migrants are on his property all the time. People, of course, come across and they cross the, our fences and they start pulling them down. So now we're just, we've we resolved it by, we're just using barbed wire fence. We did have a lot of problems with people showing up at the, at our, at our headquarters. You know, people asking for water and, and, and help. The head of the Rio Grande Border Patrol, Chief Brian Hastings, told me his team has uncovered 70 pounds of fentanyl, 100 pounds of heroin, 1,000 pounds of meth, and 40,000 pounds of marijuana just in the last few months. He said these hard narcotics make their way into the interior of the United States. Later on the Black Hawk chopper with the governor of Texas and the heads of the Department of Public Safety and the National Guard, Chief McCraw confirmed what Chief Hastings had said about narcotics. He told me what shows up in Texas does not stay in Texas and that the Mexican cartels are one of the biggest threats right now to New York. Just this week alone, over 1,800 pounds of methamphetamine were seized along the Texas-Mexico border. So that's 1,500 pounds in the RGB, Rio Grande Valley. And we talk about the impacts of elsewhere. As the governor said, they're not keeping it here. They're, it's not remaining in Texas. A lot of that's headed to New York and other cities throughout the nation. So uh, we know, working with the New York City Police Department, that their major, major uh, threat to organized crime is really no longer the... The Cosa Nostra, the Bonato family, or Genovese, it's really the Mexican cartels. The criminal organizations are benefiting on the U.S.'s incompetence at the border. Sources told us cartels are making $400 million a month for charging between $4,000 and $50,000 a head to transport people from 51 different countries across the narrow Rio Grande River. Sources told me the cartels are moving 2,000 people a day. We took a boat ride with the AG who said the numbers are spiking because they know there are no consequences to breaching America's borders. They will get processed and many sent to holding areas which are much bigger now than they were earlier. HHS has built out the complex putting many more tents to hold many more people. The biggest worry are the ones who get away. The numbers are rising of the so-called gotaways, those people wanting to intentionally evade apprehension. They are seen on surveillance video cameras getting into the country, and they are believed to travel to the interior of the country, going to big cities like New York and Chicago. Sources told me Tucson, Arizona has become a hotbed for gotaways. We took a night shoot after 10 o'clock and heard what sounded like a well-oiled machine just across the river in Texas. Cartels likely rounding up people and placing them in rafts to cross the very narrow Rio Grande, which takes 30 seconds to reach Texas. An illuminating trip, incredible situation happening right under our eyes at the southern border. More of our exclusive coverage coming up.